no you don't have to become a millionaire you don't have to become a billionaire and no this video is not all about how can you become a millionaire at the age of 5 or at the age of 18 or the age of 15 hi guys welcome to another video i i know this video um, definitely is a little bit different than my typical videos or what my plan is for this channel but I've been experiencing and I've been thinking about this topic for, for quite a long time and I thought that maybe I will just share my take on this. So, you know, these days on the social media, especially on YouTube uh, and any other video platform, uh, there are videos popping up every, everywhere uh, about how I became a millionaire at the age of five or how I became a millionaire at the age of 50 or 15 or my early 20s or 30 or whatever it is right um, and then sometimes sometimes even the video title the thumbnail or the actual content might not be exactly saying the thing um, which is as I mentioned before that how I became or how that person became you know a millionaire um, you know at the age of 11 months or whatever it is right you understand but in some cases, it might be very indirect, right? In, in the video, you might see uh, there's, there are flashy cars or the mansion or the lavish pool. Indirectly, it's part of the content. So indirectly, they're trying to prove or they're trying to tell you that, look, I have all of this, right? So therefore, I'm successful. Now, and also, there's another trend uh, that I've been seeing these days is how to become productive right? or you know, how to read 37 books on a single day or how I have 10 different streams of income um, or how I travel all over the world but then I'm generating $10,000 per, per day, right? So these type of contents everywhere and I'm not against these and I get it that some people might be take, might, might take, you know, the, the good things out of that, out of those videos, out of those contents. I should actually use the word content rather than video um, because you can also find this in the written form or uh, in audio form and some other forms. So I'm not against that, these contents, right? Uh, some people, they genuinely might be uh, seeking or looking for something similar. They, they want to become super rich and in, in their definition, that means successful, uh, to, to become successful. To, in their definition that becomes that that means happiness so for those people it's fine also say for example the how how you can become productive right now if if someone really really struggling with that then sure no problem you can go watch some videos you can you can read some article and see how can you you know make your make your day much productive than what it is right now um, this is always good right so we the reason we should be watching contents like this is because maybe we we have a similar passion maybe we have a similar dreams maybe maybe you want to um, maybe you want to make yourself better maybe you want to uh, maybe you want to gain something maybe maybe you can align um, to this type of contents so these are all good these are all positive thing right maybe you you want to read books but you you don't have time or Probably you don't have the strategy to read books because you know once you once you have a family once you have kids uh, once you have a job and some other things going on in your life maybe maybe you're actually struggling to find out the time so therefore maybe you need some tips you need some uh, just to see what other people are doing so taking in that context is very good right so so far uh, what I'm saying it looks all positive right or maybe in some cases um, maybe you want to have a side hustle maybe you want to maybe you want to have a, a passive stream of income uh, maybe you want to do something else beside your nine to five jobs if you if you're working or maybe you want to get back to the job maybe you don't want to do business anymore um, whatever it is so you, you might be you know going to going on youtube and you can you might be learning a few things you might be learning some tips and tricks which is fine so all of these are positive all of these are good so far what i've said now there is a there is a bigger problem lying underneath this that I just explained, which is comparison. Comparing yourself to 
comparing yourself against this this type of contents is very dangerous it is not just dangerous I've seen I've heard I have read about people who just went and just wanted to probably go and search you know how to how to do this or how to become productive or how to earn extra bit of money for, for the family or how to whatever it is and then from from that they went into that rat hole of you know all of these I guess almost fictional um, contents uh, full of you know dreams and, and hopes and you know fantasies and you know you need to have Lamborghinis you need to have Rolls Royce and only then you will be successful you need to have millions of dollars only then you will be successful um, you need to read 37 books on a single day only then you will become productive right and all of these all of these contents all of these um, information throwing throwing at them and then in the very beginning it's it's almost like yes I can do that or maybe I can take something out of that and then it becomes okay I I need to do that and then from that becomes I have to do it because that person is doing so I have to do it because that person is successful by doing that I want to be a successful so I need to do exactly the same thing what that person is doing and then in the end it becomes it is not for me why why is that because you are actually living someone else's dream you actually believing someone else's definition of success you actually believing someone else's definition of happiness you not you haven't created your own definition of happiness you haven't created your own um, your own ideology or your own understanding of success to you you're just following because you have you have watched the content or you have learned about something of someone else's life and that person is calling himself or herself successful because that person is doing X Y and Z so you're looking at that and you're thinking that is the benchmark so you're actually benchmarking yourself with that so therefore obviously you will not be able to align so long story short um, create your own definition create your own definition of success create your own definition of, of happiness maybe the person next to you maybe to that person success means to have hundred million dollars right maybe maybe the person next to next to you maybe to that person success means to to become a billionaire right at the age of X maybe the person next to you productivity means reading 109 books on a single day right maybe the person next to you uh, to that person being productive means you know to have 13 different streams of revenue uh, maybe maybe it's not for you maybe to you success means to have a, a balanced you know lifestyle maybe success means um, you know to have a reasonable amount of income which will make you financially stable and then also you know have a lovely family and spend time with the families and spend time with your kids and all of these aspects right maybe product being productive to you maybe it means you know spend more time with your family maybe spend more time with your kids maybe teach them a new skill maybe teach them a, a, a new lesson maybe helping your wife maybe helping your family or maybe helping your husband whatever it is right so create your own definition just because someone else has said to that person uh, the definition of success means X does not mean that you also have to have exactly the same definition of success and if you have a different success different definition that does not make you a loser that does not make you someone who is weak right you are strong in your own way and someone else is strong in a different way right um, so don't so if you want to watch this type of contents you can watch if you want to learn something out of that that's good that not everyone is as strong as you know so that that person can actually control or cope up with this and then you know watch this and learn something and then get back to the reality maybe some people will fall into the trap maybe some people will start living someone else's dream um, you know and th that's a problem because the moment you do that you, you know 
you you'll be in the journey of uh, you'll be in a journey which is which is full of um, you know demotivation, which is full of challenges and uh, challenges obviously not in a good way, but you know challenges, hurdles, demoralization, demotivation, um, you know just frustration, anger, because you will be in your mind. Uh, you know the the perfect picture of being successful means whoever whoever's contents you just watched or you've been watching for a long time so that person is doing x y and z at the age of x y and z i haven't done that or i'm not doing that or i'm not able to do that exactly the same way so that means i'm loser so do not fall into this trap and create your own definition of success create your own definition of uh, being successful being productive whatever it might be, right? Do you have to have a million dollar to become, to call yourself successful? Of course not. Is it, is there any problem to become a millionaire? Of course not. If you become one, it's fine. You have become one. If you become a billionaire, is there a problem? Is there a crime? Is there a sin? Of course not. You can. Everyone can. But if you cannot, should you call yourself someone who is weak? Should you call yourself someone who is who is a loser? Of course not. So create your own definition, create your own philosophy, create your own perspective and go for it. If you have a dream of becoming a billionaire, then so be it. You work hard, you do all the basic things and then probably you will become. Probably not at the age of five, you know, five months, probably at the age of 50. That's fine. That does not make you a weak person. That does not make you a, a failure in your life. That does not make you you're a loser. No, not at all, right? The majority of these contents are almost as if they're showing off rather than actually truly inspiring you. So many people fall into that trap of comparing and benchmarking them against those contents. So I hope, I hope you, you liked what I said. I hope it actually made sense. I hope it will, it will be beneficial uh, most of you, to most of you. And yeah let me know what you think let me know if what's your thought on this and i guess you know do the basic things have your own definition have a have you have a lovely balanced lifestyle right and do not benchmark yourself against someone else's uh benchmark do not leave someone else's dream have your own dream have your own goal have your own you know have your own journey um, by yourself of course it can go and learn from others and no harm in it um, but then again um, if you can take the positive thing out of that implement in your life and have a better impact then do that rather than continuously uh, consuming those contents and get into that rat hole of that means success so I have to I have to follow that person exactly in the same way so I will also become successful not necessarily so what will happen is if that clicks it's good but if it doesn't click then you will become frustrated you will become angry you will become as I said you will become demotivated um, so yeah um, that's it for today and I will see you in the next video and if you like this video give it a like um, and if you want to share this video with someone else go for it and if you haven't subscribed then please do subscribe thank you and i'll see you in the next video peace